So we just got lost in the city. Uh, we asked the policeman to show us the uh, direction or the route to the tourism uh, permit office, and he he struggled to read from our last permit to identify what we are talking about. The language barrier was real, and uh, then he put us into one of these cabs, a shared taxi, and now we are going all around the city. And uh, just now, uh, Amrit, who has a channel called Walking with Torna. Uh, we've been in touch with him and his wife to like pretty much find out places here in Afghanistan. He uh, sent me a message with a map marker of the office, and turns out this office is right next to our hotel, like 100 meters walking. Then we would have reached the office, but instead now we have like traveled for almost 12 kilometers. Yeah, now we're we Kandahar city. So. There's like this one main road in the city that spans from west to east, so we've been driving on that. Now, hopefully, we reach the center again near our hotel and we can go to that office. We've just stopped here because the driver is filling gas today. So we've just come to the same kind of office we went to in Herat earlier. This is the Department of Culture here in Kandahar. And so every time we go to a new city, you have to visit this center and get this letter. This is like a permit which they issue to all tourists. And basically this helps you get access to see a lot of the city, whether it's historical sites within the city and so on. And for any reason, if anybody asks you what you're doing here, because it's written in the local language, it's so much easier to explain that you're a tourist and you're just wandering around. And people are very, very welcoming. Like here behind us, we have the whole office. So, salam everybody. Hello. Salam. Hi. Salam. So, they were very kind and helpful to help us get this permit like within a few minutes. So, uh, I'll leave the location marker down below in this video so you can see where it is and come here. And also, and also interestingly, they have an art gallery right inside this office. Yeah, so first time seeing yeah. a museum. museum. Yeah. Art yeah. museum. So, they have an art museum right inside this office. Yeah, first time we are seeing something like that. Very interesting. Uh -huh. This is the funniest thing about vehicles in Afghanistan. A lot of them have some really crazy number plates like this. A lot of them actually come from the US itself. That's uh, how the vehicles are imported and because there's no rule for number plates here in Afghanistan at the moment, people are free to use whatever they want. It's uh, really funny. Time for some pomegranate juice. <laughs> We are in Kandahar. Kandahar. <laughs> we are in Kandahar today. Uh, it is one of the larger cities in southern Afghanistan and actually very very busy. The moment we stepped out of our hotel, it's been crazy everywhere. Herat actually feels like a very small town when compared to how busy Kandahar is. And uh, we got here this morning on a bus ride which you probably caught in our last vlog. It was a very very comfortable journey but we actually got here at a very odd hour this morning. And then, bus reached at 4.30 and it was still pitch dark and very very cold. So somebody offered to host us at their uh, guest house for about 3 hours and they charged us 150 Afghani. So we stayed there, we slept until 8 am and then caught a shared taxi to come here to Kandahar city. As soon as we have slept for longer but he came at 8 o'clock and knocked loudly on our door and we just woke up and then he had arranged a taxi for us. So he, the taxi brought us here to the center of Kandahar city and we found a hotel. Uh, I think all of that's there in our last vlog so definitely check it out. Uh, right now just opposite to our hotel, uh, across the street, there's a small restaurant where we came to. Uh, before coming here, 
So before coming here, we actually went and picked up our uh, permits to explore Kandahar city. And now that we have it, we are super hungry, so we just came here for a meal. So this is so this is the meal we are having. This is uh, rajma, like uh, kidney beans, some bread, some salad, and lassi. This is really big and I think it will be very filling for us. And this is how they sit. Everybody sits on the floor. They have carpeted it below. And they have put something like a table mat on which they serve food. And everybody sits around. Mm. We're just trying to pay for lunch, but Mr. Zainoda here, Zainoda, uh, he said all all visitors who come here from India are his close friends and guests. So he was very kind to invite us to lunch and feed us. And uh, both both should be and after restaurant ka naam kya hai nawi khurasan nawi 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 khurasan okay so this restaurant's name i've just put it here and the location it's right across the street from where we are staying so you should definitely come check it out they have a whole lot of food up there that you can see but our favorite was lokya random chit chat happening ये जस्ट कम आउट ऑफ द सिटी सेंटर to this place called Chilzila which is uh, which is supposed to be a very important monument here dates back to many many centuries if not millennia ago and uh, this was recommended by the uh, tourism office as well as a few locals so we are here now but we are struggling to find the entrance <laughs> and it's uphill and as you can see there are a lot of houses around here all traditional old mud houses Uh, a lot of the construction looks like it was made with just mud clay uh, straw lime, lime yes and uh, these kind of natural materials now the kids are approaching us will be hurting the camera yes <laughs> so we've just arrived at chilzina which is uh, in other words called 40 steps there's a stairway here that goes all the way up to a little cave and this uh, actually dates back quite a few centuries if not millennia and uh, nobody is very sure who put or who built this whole thing here but today there is like a a formal staircase the railing right here it overlooks the city of kandahar and you can actually see quite a few mountain ranges right here really big ones really tall steep looking mountains So from here we can see mountains on that side and this entire city of Kandahar. And if you look closely, none of the houses or any buildings are above like two or three floors. So they're all yeah. short, and it's such a unique landscape. They're all like in brown colored buildings, and behind you see these mountains. There's only a couple of buildings which actually have like multiple floors. They seem to be mostly commercial. There are no apartment complexes, residential buildings that we see with a with a tall height. Yeah. But uh, the most impressive part is definitely those mountains right there. It looks so cool.
شیرین زبان ابرو کمان خونشه دهان خوش آمدی شیرین زبان ابرو کمان خونشه دهان خوش آمدی در محفل دل سختگان ماه کابان خوش آمدی در محفل دل سختگان شرم و We just found this on the street. It's something like Channa Chaat. He took these. I think they're like fried bread pieces or something like fried bread. Oh, look, momos. You know. This is exactly... This is exactly like Channa Chaat but it's very cold. In India you get it hot but here it's cold. Good remember. Yeah. So what? Hello. What is your name? My name is Hikmat Lam. Hikmat Lam. Yeah. And your friend? My name is Samir Lam. Samir Lam. Okay. Nice to meet you. What's your name? My name is Samir Lam. Samir Lam. Everybody has Samir Lam. Good. You can take a picture. So, We are just on the streets of Kandahar at night. So all of this is uh, so Kandahar used to be the headquarters of the Taliban before the U.S. left. A lot of the operations were carried out from here. So naturally, this was considered to be one of the more dangerous places back then, when looked at from a Western perspective, and also for locals. However, today it's a very different situation. Uh, the officers had assured us that we could step out and enjoy the evening. And even and vlog comfortably. So that's what we are doing now. We are uh, pretty close to our hotel. We didn't wander too far away. We just wanted to get some snacks and we've got it. So that's what we've been up to today. Uh, every right place... Now, yeah, we just now saw a huge SUV filled with like eight men and all of them are carrying those big things. As you can see, it's very, very busy behind us. A lot of traffic. Even the square in front of us is very busy. A lot and of taxis moving around. And if you just stop for a minute, everybody is gathering around us. It's a little scary for me because, you know, they just touch you. They hold your hands. They start to talk. As in, they don't touch her. They touch me. They touch only now me. Yeah. But if the girls around, they come around me. Yeah, so she had little kids, little girl children Poking running. Poking me and telling, what's your name, what's your name? <laughs> it's nice to know that they know a bit of English. Yeah. That means uh, they are allowed to study till 6th grade at the moment. I don't know if things will change, but when they do speak, they do know a bit of English. Yeah. So that's uh, nice to hear. <laughs> Okay. 